What's up everybody? My name is Adam Neor, and today I'm going to start my inaugural Creature of the Week. In addition to talking about my new upload schedule. So since Harry Potter Witches Unite is not released yet, and Hogwarts Mystery is not released yet as well, there's only really speculation on the channel that I can really put out for information. So my new plan for until either one of those comes out, so um, ideally Hogwarts Mystery will be coming out this spring sometime. New upload schedule is going to be Creature of the Week on Mondays. Wednesdays we're going to have any news that has been released regarding Harry Potter Wizards Unite or Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. And then Fridays I'm going to do kind of like a kind of testing myself with filmmaking whether it be Pokemon Go, Ingress, any of the Jam City Tiny Coke Company games that have already been released and or anything fun that that I feel like would warrant being released on a Friday. So that's kind of the fun day. But for now, let's get back to the creature of the week. Really? Our first creature of the week is a British descent and I know it's at least one of my favorite one of my favorite creatures in the wizarding world. And that's a Niffler. So this long-snouted, black, fluffy, furred creature based off the real-life animal, the short-beaked echidna, 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 the short-beaked echidna, is one we all fell in love with in Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. So Nifflers live up to 20 feet underground and are attracted really to anything that that glistens or shines or anything like that. They're usually kept by goblins to burrow deep into the earth to help the goblins find treasure. They're usually very gentle creatures and very affectionate, but having them as a house pet might not be a good idea because they can be known to be destructive to belongings and household items at times. Because of this reason, they're given three X's on the classification list for the Ministry of Magic. Now something fun, a couple of fun things about Nifflers is the first time we saw them was not in Fantastic Beasts. We actually, the first time they were introduced to us was in Harry's fourth year at Hogwarts when Hagrid used them in his Care of Magical Creatures class. He hid leprechaun gold in the earth in front of his hut and paired each student with a Niffler and promised a prize to whoever found the most gold. Spoiler alert, Ron's Niffler found the most gold, and he was rewarded with a large slab of chocolate from the Honeyduke's sweet shop. Another fun story about the Niffler is that Fred and George, right after they left, they, they had a couple of Nifflers that they, that they left behind for Lee Jordan. Now Lee Jordan was, of course, just like Fred and George and liked causing trouble, so he levitated them into the window of Professor Umbridge's office and let them loose, and they completely destroyed her office, which, you know, I think everybody agrees she deserved. That's our first creature of the week, the Niffler. Let me know in the comments below what other creatures you'd like to hear about. And I'll try, I'll definitely make them a priority. But from here on out, every week I'm going to come up with a new creature and have a short video about that creature. But anyway, if you, if you like the new, new style of video, my new upload schedule, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you can get notifications from when I release a video, and you'll know, of course, when all the biggest news about Harry Potter Wizards Unite and... Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery is released. But anyway, thanks again for watching and have a magical day.